Welcome to the Metal Deacon. Yeah, welcome. Uh, we are both deacons. We're both in Denmark. We're both de from Denmark. Yeah. Uh, we both play metal. Uh, this is Nils. Hey there. And with your own words, uh, um, can you uh, tell people who you are? Yeah. Well, um, I'm a. Uh, I just became a uh, deacon. Um, three no two months ago, I think. And um, I'm 26 years old, born in the Faroe Islands, and living here in um, Denmark. And uh, I'm the bassist of the uh, hardcore band called Rosalind. And um, yeah, enjoying life. <laughs> yeah, nice. So what? So you you said you just uh, finished? You just got ordained in the by the bishop? Uh, or in the in the folk church, state yeah. church, as a deacon, and now here in about a week, you're gonna continue. Yeah. You, you you just got your bachelor in diaconia. Mm. Now you're gonna continue to get a master's. Yeah. In diaconia. Yeah, which but, will be in quite amazing, at, and also like really a gift from God, I believe. Like uh, just. Uh, the fact that we here in uh, uh, Denmark that we can get a education in uh, Diakonia and uh, I'll be getting a master's in uh, Diakonia for the next two years and which will be focusing not as much on uh, serving people because that's what I have been learning for the past three and a half years so now we'll, we'll be working more on uh, the leadership aspect of working with people and uh, also the un uh, entrepreneurship of serving people by building new things, by creating um, new opportunities. Awesome for serving people. Uh, so it's yeah, it's gonna be a more broader aspect of how to serve people um, and uh, teaching. Yeah. Yeah, so good. So you spent some time in uh, in the United States. Yeah. Around San Francisco, right? Yeah, and, and I, I was in San Francisco back in 2014 for seven months. I was working for youth with a mission, which is a, which is a missionary organization. And um, I was uh, serving at the homeless people in a, a neighborhood called uh, Tenderloin, which was a really rough neighborhood, uh, to say the mm. least. Um, I didn't know what to... Um, expect living here uh, in Denmark we don't see that many homeless people uh, but when I came to San Francisco I was just overwhelmed by how many people were living on the, uh, the streets but also how many addict or drug um, um, drug addicts and mm. alcoholics and like just the sheer aspect of deep um, uh, deep uh, poverty of oh, yeah. people and yeah people had literally nothing except for a sleeping bag <laughs> yeah so it was quite overwhelming uh, to begin with yeah wow so when you were there it was uh, said through YWAM yeah uh, so that's a Christian uh, approach yeah and it was a uh, organization that has a motto that's uh, to know God and to make him known and to make him known I was working both by serving people and sharing his love but also I was uh, teaching uh, groups from different states who came to visit uh, youth with a mission yeah. and uh, I was uh, teaching them how to serve the homeless people and how to share God's love with them by uh, serving them and uh, talking with them and eating meals with them and yeah it was definitely a uh, time I will never forget yeah cool just to you personally what does uh, diaconia mean and what what does it mean more uh, for you to be a deacon you are a deacon yeah and um, I believe that uh, di diaconia is a um, it's uh, Greek for the word service and servant and uh, it's something that I believe is just to, to serve other people 
and it's something that we as Christians are all called to to be deacons, mm, yeah. and uh, it's something that um, that we all need to be doing in some way or in other by using our gifts and our talents and um, and to me being a, a deacon is something that it's like I'm I got this uh, armor of uh, I'm now a, a deacon but I don't believe it's something that makes me better than uh, anyone uh, else uh. Um, it's something that I take with a humble heart and I really want to serve people but I, I used the past three years I wanted to become a uh, deacon to, to uh, know how to serve people uh, to get the tools and uh, so it wasn't as much for the title but more just to see what does it mean to, to be a deacon awesome yeah, yeah I've I've always seen you as a, <laughs> like a gentle spirit, humble yeah. heart. Uh, Thank you. That's <laughs> great. It's an honor being a fellow deacon. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. So, so how when uh, so in the middle scene, your band Roseland, where you play bass, uh, uh, you got right now you're in the studio, finish your full length, and then you've been uh, playing. Sometimes you play a bunch of shows uh, in waves. How do you do you see? Um, Diakonia and uh, being a Christian serving, how does that go hand in hand with playing hardcore? Yeah, um, I believe that in a sense it's something that uh, Diakonia needs to be in all aspects of life and in all aspects of uh, society. And for me, a passion is to serve people but also to play metal music and to be in the, in the uh, community of. Uh, fellowshipping with metal musicians that are not Christians to be with them and to fellowship in their way by uh, being at, at the festivals and at, at the shows and just creating mm -hmm. or just making friends uh, with them and to, to love them and being honest with, with them and um, yeah being honest with uh, your love and being who you are um, <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah it's definitely something that at times can be hard uh, because it's something that always uh, uh, clashes to be telling people that you like uh, that you believe in God <laughs> sometimes people are like oh that's cool uh, that you're being yourself and honest but also sometimes people are like oh, I don't want to talk about that yeah <laughs> uh, um, but yeah, definitely, I've learned to to have a humble uh, approach with it, and like being honest and not hiding it, but mm -hmm. at the same time having a uh, respect towards your friends and having fellowship with the metal community. Yeah. Oh, I think uh, that's really cool. I think uh, the word respect mm -hmm. just uh, resonated with me. Res yeah. Respecting uh, people around you, and that's also respecting people who are not Christians, yeah. who who just want to hang out and, and be friends and mm. then out of that friendship yeah. realize like if you don't push it's pretty disrespectful to try to push your beliefs whether it's being a ve vegan or a yeah. vegetarian or faith mm. but, uh, respect to other people yeah definitely and um, but al also at um, the, the same time something that i'm uh, drawn by in the metal uh, community is something is uh, the word uh, um, honesty mm. and uh, being true to yourself is some, something that they can uh, respect or I've seen people that like they see that I'm a Christian they're like oh that's cool that you're standing up for something yeah and that's being honest and being true to who you are it's something that I, I really love about the community that you can meet people who are like really genuinely you can see that they're true to themselves and they're not trying to hide behind some mask but they can be honest about anything <laughs> yeah yeah great point i love yeah. i love that about that uh, yeah. me metal community <laughs> yeah. and, and 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 you do get respect for standing up for something and mm -hmm. and if you, in your lyrics you you scream about your faith then at least you it's something you're passionate about and true it's not just okay yeah. you try to be a uh, and then you you scream about Vikings or something, and you don't really know much about it. Or, yeah. 
Um, so, so that's cool. And then when you're honest and yeah. and respectful at the same time. Yeah, definitely. Um, and uh, I definitely also believe that we we ought to be in the uh, the darkness, shining our uh, light, which is God. Uh, and by shining our uh, our light, we're doing that uh, through love because God, He is love. And yeah. uh, that's something I've definitely learned to do, to serve and just not uh, necessarily by telling people, but just being really help helpful and uh, serving at uh, festivals or concerts. And, um, and also just by being a, a genuine band that you're being on uh, uh, the schedule and you're being on time and you're helping the, the sound guy, you're helping the booker making the best out of this show, uh, helping out in uh, the small part that they can see that we're really wanting to be a great band, not just on stage, but also off stage. Oh yeah. And that we, we really want to show uh, who uh, we are as loving Christians and as a band that it's something that we really wish to we used to do that it's not about us playing on stage but it's us loving people both on stage and off stage and uh, serving them cool and using the music as a platform <laughs> i guess yeah oh that's definitely integrity yeah yeah on stage off stage yeah cool well thank you so much Nims. yeah i know <coughs> god bless you yeah you too it's nice yeah <laughs> well it's a uh, pretty dark here uh, I guess the sun went down and uh, yeah, so uh, all from here may the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you peace out <laughs>